Well, I can tell you that uh, there was, uh, this was in May, there was an incident involving a couple of New Zealanders uh, who were in a bar accompanied by a New Zealand official. Uh, there were allegations made about the conduct of the two business people uh, and about the subsequent conduct of the New Zealand official. Uh, the two business people have, I gather, discussed those matters with police and have left the country. The official concerned obviously is based in Seoul and has uh, uh, been un uh, unavailable to their system until there was a waiver of that person's immunity. I signed that, uh, such a document in the first week of June. Uh, the uh, authorities there have taken some weeks to follow up, but I understand they have interviewed that person, but I have got no further details at the stage. So what was the reason for signing the diplomatic immunity in terms of New Zealand's response? Well, I've taken the view that uh, we should apply the same standards to the uh, way in which we conduct ourselves offshore to the way in which we expect people to behave here. And uh, that means that because we expect uh, accountability to our laws in New Zealand, that's always our premise, that we should try and be accountable to the laws of other countries when we've got officials serving in that jurisdiction. So once the uh, request was made for the waiver of immunity, I discussed that with the uh, employer of that person and granted such a waiver on the 6th of June of this year. And given the Rizalman case, New Zealand really wouldn't have any choice but to waive immunity? Look, I, I think that um, uh, there'd have to be some compelling reasons not to waive immunity. Uh, and uh, there's been no pushback in our system. Everyone agrees that it's in the best interest of all parties for this person to be able to be interviewed by police. As I say, the two New Zealanders who were also there at the same time uh, were interviewed by police and have left the country. What details can you give us about the person involved? Uh, none. Except they're based at the embassy? It is a person who is employed by the New Zealand government and to whom diplomatic immunity applies. Uh, and for that reason, a waiver of that immunity was required to be signed by myself.